Lee Jung-jae, who is the main character of Skid Game, which became a popular drama sweeping around all over the world, has been loved by the world. Unlike his personality in Skid Game makes people surprised. However, actually for Korean, his appearance on Skid Game seems weird. His image in Korea is charismatic and fashionable and Suyang Daegun. Lee Jung-jae played the role of Suyang Daegun on the movie The Face Reader which is called Gwansang in Korean. The movie The Face Reader is the story about Ke Yu jung nat which is the history fact that Suyang Daegun, who is uncle of the King Danjong, deposed King Danjong and took over the regime. Lee Jung-jae performed as a charming villain in this movie also, his appearance scene is so popular. It was considered as one of the top 3 Korean movie appearance scene, especially with his famous line, Does it look like I will become a king has become a bad word. And is a rhyme that all Korean knows. From now on, we can learn Korean history through Lee Jung-jae and his famous movie, The Faith Reader. Born in 1417, Suyang Daegun is the second son of the King Sejong. You might have heard King Sejong if you are interested in Korean culture. He is the founder of Hangul, which is Korean alphabet. After King Sejong passed away, his first son Moon Jung succeeded to the throne. But it hasn't been long since he ascended to the throne, he passed away because of his illness. So his little son Danjong succeeded to the throne at the time when he was just only 12 years old boy. Suyang is the younger brother of Munjong. He was good at both liberal arts and martial arts. As a representative of the royal family, he also took control of assisting Danjong, therefore his clout was immense. Moon Jung, who was worried about his younger brother's power, worried about his younger son, and asked Kim jong seo and Hwang bo in who were his servants, to take care of his son before he passed away. So they had been administrated by the royal family instead of Tan Jung. It made Seung furious. He was not pleased to see the servant control the little king as a puppet. So on October 10, 1453, he killed Kim jong seo for the crime that Kim jong seo tried to level, then made An Pyeong Daegun, who is another younger brother of Moon jong king. And he caused the Kyu jong nan that took over the palace with his own army. After that, he became the seventh king of Joseon. Dan jong was kicked out to younger Gangwon-do and died after drinking poison from his uncle Suyang Daegun in 1457. Joseon's founding ideology is Neo-Confucianism. The most emphasized part of Neo-Confucianism is honor, royalty, and justification. Suyang Daegun broke those rules. Kicking out and killing his king and nephew is against the rules that honor royalty. Also, he didn't have any right justification that he could become a king. Because of this, many servants resisted Suyang Daegun. For them, protecting Danjong means Loyalty to Sejong and Munjong, and this situation is so natural as a Sambi. So Suyang Daegun killed many servants and people who desperately tried to protect Danjong from Suyang Daegun. We call them Sayukshin and Sengyukshin. Sayukshin are the six people who died to protect Danjong. Sengyukshin is the six people who didn't die but kept protecting Danjong for the whole time. They were so intelligent. So Suyang wanted to hire them as loyal people to him, but they kept refusing and denying Suyang Daegun as king. Suyang Daegun killed many people and took over the kingdom in this manner, but he had been haunted by the guilt of killing his nephew his entire life, and he even dreamed of Queen Hyundo, his sister-in-law, and Danjong's mother. According to legend, Suyang Daegun had a big boil on the speed point and suffered for a long time. In addition, through a strange twist of destiny, 
his first son died early. In this video, we learned Korean history through Lee Jung Jae and the movie The Faith Reader. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe and the like.